Hey, everybody. Welcome in to Craft Hour with Triple C. I'm Dana, aka Triple C. Thank you so much for being here this morning. I hope you're having a beautiful Friday. T-G-I-F. That's right, guys. Uh, it is Friday, and so some of us are ready for the weekend, and we're trying to figure out what we can do, whether it be enjoying the weather, whether it be doing some spring cleaning, or whether it be doing some well-needed rest. Thing. <laughs> uh, for me, I will be working and also just doing a few family things and there's no, nothing nothing really planned. You know, whatever happens, happens, but uh, nothing really extremely planned, but I'm just excited. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a nice little week, a little longer week. I've been doing some double shifts and things of that sort, so it's been really fun doing that, but it's also fun that today I don't have a double shift. I can relax a little bit before work. So I just want to say thank you so much for being in the building. If you have not yet hit the thumbs up, do so now. I'm going to start praying, then we'll greet, and then we're just going to craft. It is a craft day, y'all. And I want to kind of knock this out. I know I always chat, always laugh, always have a good time. We always have these subjects and we talk. So we're going to continue to do that. But I want to try to knock this project out. I think I'm getting I'm getting a, a part a part of me is ready to finish. I'm ready to get this baby completed. So let me just pray, then we'll get into crafting. Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come to you, God, thanking you for this morning. I come entering into your gates with thanksgiving, and I enter into your courts with praise, saying hallelujah, because it is the highest praise, and you deserve it, God. So today, I just want to thank you for waking us up and breathing life into us. I want to thank you for breaking chains off of us. I want to thank you for making ways for us. I want to thank you for performing miracles for us. God, on today, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for being our father, our deliverer, our protector, our comforter. God, on this morning, I want to thank you for being our provider. God, on today, I just want to thank you. On today, God, I ask that you cover us right now, everyone under the sound of my voice, Father God, whether they're traveling, working, schooling, fighting for our countries, fighting for our communities, whether they're homeless, whether they don't know who you are, whether they are um, feeling bound, feeling uh, deserted, feeling abandoned, feeling alone, Father God, on today, for those of us who are feeling depressed, stressed out, feeling with, filled with anxiety, God, on today, I ask that you begin to cover us all, God, touch those who are uh who are dealing with financial issues on this morning, Father God, those who are dealing with homelessness on this morning, cover those who are in nursing homes or rehabilitation centers. Father God, cover those who are in prisons or jail cells on this morning. Father God, I ask that you begin to touch them right now, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, I ask that you begin to lift us all up, Father God. I'm asking that you begin to come against everything that tries to come against our mindset, everything that tries to come against our goals, our future, our families, Father God. Anything that you have put forth for us, Father God, I ask that you begin to come against it. Father God, I ask that you begin to uproot it, dismantle it. Father God, send it to the dry place in which it came. And on today, God, I ask that you begin to help us to mount up with wings as eagles as we begin to triumph, Father God through every trial and every test and every tribulation, Father God, help us to become victorious, no longer victims, Father God. On today, I thank you and I bless your name because you are worthy to be praised. And I ask on today, God, as you cover this chat, I come against any type of trolling, spamming, cyberbullying, and any type of technical difficulties. I ask that you give us a great day, God, to craft together and to laugh together. I love you and I bless your holy name and your son Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. 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 Good morning. Hey, James Money. Where the money at, James? All right, guys. So we're about to get into this crafting and we're just going to enjoy the day. Let me see. What can I do with this? I don't need all my notifications and dinging. I don't need the dingering. Okay. There we go. So let me get into this crap. We'll pull it up and we're going to just work on it. I got a couple knickknackers on the tabletop from yesterday. Okay. All right. Now, let me. I don't like. I was trying to figure out my lighting, guys, because I don't like how it is. I don't like how it's like the shade. I want it to be more brighter, but I don't know what I can do. I might have to go through and try to fix my camera settings or something. I don't know. Why is it to the point where it's kind of like that shade? I just want it to be like, you know, a little bit better, but it's okay. Because I went back, when I went back and watched the video, I was like, oh, I was trying to figure out. Was it really like this? And it is. So I don't know. I might have just fix my camera settings, but okay, it's all right. All right, let me get my keys out of the way, my work bag out of the way. And let me get my crochet. Where's my crochet work? Oh, where's my backpack? Let me <laughs> let me grab my work, guys. Hey, Cammy, welcome in that building. Hey, everybody, hit the thumbs up. 
All right, guys, let me go and get my back right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get into the work. What are you guys working on this morning? What y'all drinking on this morning? Nibbling? Is there any breakfast being nibbled? I want to say I just put up a couple of my videos for beta. I'm still behind. So today is the 12th. Okay, cool. I thought I was saying it's 13. That's good. So today is the 13th or the 12th. So I will be putting up more as well. So let's get into the craft on today. Let me pull up everything. And we're going to get working on this. We're going to see how far we can get and then go from there. I just want to say thank you for those of you who have been leaving comments, sending me emails as well. Some of you I did not know were watching my live from yesterday. So thank you for those of you who are commenting and saying that uh, I had a strong intro to my book. Uh, I hope that you enjoy the whole book when it comes because that's going to be a blessing. <laughs> All right. So here we go. I'm going to tighten it maybe up. Mm -hmm. Also, thank you for those of you who came over to. I wish I could figure this lighting out. I don't like the that blue shade, but I guess maybe just the way it is back here. But it should be brighter. See, like, stay there, stay there, brighter. Stay there. <laughs> well, that's my camera. Yeah, it's my camera settings, I guess. Okay, let's see. Enter. I wish it was a motion on my hands. Okay. Yeah, thank you for those of you who came over to my, my vlog channel and enjoyed some brunch making. I just made a quick little meal. I was starving yesterday. I was starving like Marvin. Yeah, my camera's dirty. I was starving like Marvin yesterday, so I made a little brunch. Mm -hmm. You are no longer volunteer for Brazil. Oh, yeah, you told me that already. You told me that already. You was there after that, you went to doing something with the animals. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me see. Back camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, now here we go. Let's get into it. Hey, oh, since Kristen is in the building, what's going on? Since Kristen is in the building from head turning crochet, you better get in here. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. Working on this poncho top, poncho style top. How are you? If y'all don't have Kristen over at head turning crochet, y'all better grab her up and show her some love. I'm doing pretty good. How about you? It is so good to see you. Let me see. What, what side am I on? Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let me move pieces out of the way. Okay, now here we go. Um, okay. Here we go, guys. Sorry, I almost we almost had some echoing going on. I forgot to turn off one of the things. You wonderful, yeah. You've been volunteering the humane society, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. I know he's doing some of the animals. I know he's at the humane society and volunteering there. I remember he was done with Goodwill. Hello, everybody. Come on in. I'm glad you're wonderful. Says it feels good to see you and hear from you as well. Is this is on there. Okay, so cool. so I can see myself. All right. So yeah, we're working on this poncho top, guys. And so far, so good. Let me get myself closer so I don't hurt to hurt my arms. Okay, yeah, there we go. So yeah, I've been working on this poncho style top. We've been working on it for like a couple of weeks. Your consistency and resilience is amazing. Love it. What? Okay, for a compliment. <laughs> Thank you for the compliments. I love a good compliment. I'm learning how to accept them now. I don't have to say right back to you. I mean, I can definitely do that but I can still say thank you. I, I used to always do this, like, like, oh, you look nice, but oh, you look nice too. And it's like, you don't have to say you look nice too. You can say, thank you. 
I think you have to make them try and work hard. You know, I'm working on no, skin. <laughs> but thank you so much. And yes, I appreciate you for that love and that support. And thank you for everything that you do. And definitely, I see your grind. You're killing a game. I'm loving everything that you're doing uh, and just everywhere that you're going. You're traveling, you're doing shows. It is very inspirational and it's very. I'm trying to see if I can see my. I can see myself good on my phone, but I'm trying to figure out. I see myself good on the computer. But, anyways. Yeah, it just your hard work is paying off, and it's just you're very inspirational. So thank you. I watch read the dishery for the animals. Oh, do you? Okay. Oh, how does that? Feel? But you wear gloves or what for those dishings? Yes, accept your account commitment. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for that love. What? Anybody working on anything this morning? Or just chilling? How is that weather looking where you are? Let me see what my weather's looking like. I don't know. I hope it's going to be nice because I don't know about today. But I do know we have days where it's going to come out to be a little nicer. Mom was telling me, like, I think maybe Sunday, Saturday, or tomorrow or Sunday, it's going to be like in the 80s in my area. And I still have the heat on, guys. Y'all still have your heat on? I, I don't, I have to, I don't, I like the warmth. It gets a little nippy in here. So I got to figure that thing out. <laughs> it gets a little nippy and I don't want to be, I don't like to be cold. I don't. I mean, I guess I could probably start like, you know, wrapping up a little more, a little more layer. But I kind of, I love to be barefoot. I'm a barefoot contessa. So I love to be barefoot. So I have to be able to be barefoot and still warm. You know, I love that. I love the little, you know, the cold, the, the cooler wood under my feet. So that's a good thing. But I don't want, I don't like to be cold to the bone and chilly. So yeah, we're working on this time. I'm going to go ahead and show you again what we're working on and then drop the link in the chat because I know some of you are like, hold on, let me see it. Let me see what it's looking like. You know, and I'm using Lion Brand Mandala yarn and the color of a Nova. Okay. So this is the color that we're using. It's shades of gray. You got your shades of pinks. And there's also some metallic. You know I love my metallic, y'all. If it ain't glittering, hey, that's what I'm saying. If it don't glitter, it don't make sense to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm silly. All right, let me find the poncho style. Let me find him. Now, this pattern is actually by a young lady by the name of Jess, okay? She is a mother and also, I mean, I don't know if she is a mother. Oh, let me say that. Um, but her mother actually saw her when she was eight years old, how to crochet. So she's been crocheting for a long time. And she's also been crocheting with her mother and her sisters, okay? So her mom and her sisters have created this awesome team of crocheters where they create amazing free patterns for us. Isn't that great? They decided to come together, take this one thing that was passed down from one generation and just keep it going and pass it on free to so many of us. I love that. I love it. All right. So let me go ahead and share the screen so you can see exactly what we're working on. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and get back into the crafting. I'm also going to drop the link in case you're hungry to work on this or put it in your bookmarks for a future, future uh, project. Mm -mm. All right, there we go. There it is. There we go, guys. So again, she did use a solid color and I'm using multicolor. So I think it's still going to come out good. All right. I'm going to drop the link again too, just in case you want to play with it or try it out. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let me see. What is this called, guys? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for today's craft. I'm like trying to figure out what's I going to type. Today's craft, and I want to paste it. Hmm. Okay. All right, oops. Okay, here we go. Let's get into it. Hmm, there we go.
Oh, let me see what Cammy said. Cammy said, I have to wear gloves to handle the dirty dishes, but it's not a necessity for the clean dishes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, that's good. I just was thinking of the tongari and stuff that's just like old kibble, like caked on. I mean, I don't know how long this has been caked, you know, but I just was thinking of it. <laughs> A little slobbery, a little kibblery. I just was thinking of it. Also, Cammy says, yesterday I soaked the gasket for the dishwasher in a bucket of soapy hot water for a few minutes. Then I soaked it twice in just pure hot water. It never looked prettier. Okay, well, that's I like it. And nothing wrong, and that's good. So how often are you doing some volunteer work? I definitely love that. It's nothing wrong with volunteering. I definitely do my share of volunteer work as well. I'm also going to be doing some volunteering as a coach. Next, I think it's next week. Uh, so no, I don't think it's next week. It's like maybe the week after. So that's cool. I'm, I'm getting a little nervous. This is my first time doing some coaching, so I don't know what's going to take place. I'm probably going to just be, you know, doing my normal me, yelling, hollering, motivating. You got this. Come on. Get on that defense. I mean, I just can I, I really, I need to get like some coach wear. Like, I feel like I just want to have that. I can wear like one of my fitness outfits. Uh, I guess I'm probably going to wear my uh, work uniform. I'm going to be on the clock. Okay, never mind. I'm going to be on the clock. So there's... <laughs> because I'm going to actually be on the clock. So never mind. Uh, so I will be wearing my work uniform. Okay. I just really want to enjoy my coach skills. But it's okay. I can wear my work uniform. It's all right. It's not about what you wear anyways. It's about what you what you do. You know, the impact that you make. So it's going to be fun, though. It's going to be daddy-daughter. And I can't wait to see... Uh, I think the format... Was the daddies, <laughs> the daddies, were the fathers, I feel like they were, they're going to have their own game by themselves. The daughters are going to have their own game by themselves. And then also there's going to be a game of them together collectively. So I love it. I think it's awesome. Also, same three days as the Goodwill store, but for two hours instead of four. Oh, cool. Oh, that's good. Sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. And that's that's really a beautiful thing to be able to give her time. And, you know, that's a beautiful thing. I know they appreciate it. I know they do. Mm -hmm. I think about, like, I want to start, like, do you ever, like, put your community service hours down? Because you do, that's a lot of community service. I'm going to start doing, uh, I think about, there's a couple of different places. Like, my cousin, she serves foods on Thursdays to the homeless and she's always wanting people to volunteer to help serve or you know do different things so I was thinking of doing something like that with her volunteering here and there and then also there is a local area where they do like where I just took my walk my winter walk St. Margaret's house they have served lunch and do different things so I was thinking of one day maybe serving some lunch for them or cooking something because when I met with the director at the winter walk and I was telling her about me doing different things. I wasn't a nutritionist yet, but I told her a bit of my story. And then I was telling her how I was going to school to be a you know personal trainer and a sports nutritionist. This was maybe January or February. I think it was February and I was telling her about it. And so it's like, yeah, I would love for you to come and you know help us with some meals and stuff like that. I was like, what? So now I actually am a nutritionist and a personal trainer. So I think that would be nice because that they do a lot of activities, but I don't think they ever do any active activities except, you know, like if they're doing a walk or something. But for the most part, like something active, let's get fit. I think that would be nice. I would love to do that. There's something about that because you just get energy. You get energy, you feel stronger. There's a boost of confidence that takes place. You know, it just gives you this feeling like, oh, I can do this. I can. It makes you feel like you can do a lot of different things. Emma says, we can't use dish soap to clean the dishes because it will break the dishwasher. So if I have to soak the dishes, I use hot water only. In fact, I had I use hot water to rinse them off. Oh, it will break the dishwasher. Oh, yeah. But you can use um like the those tablets, like the Cascade tablets. Hey, Rick, welcome in our building. So you can use a cascade cascade tablets. I remember when I was young, my first ever apartment, I was 16 years old. And I had never experienced a dishwasher. Now, I knew you should, you know, I was told use your, I was so, hey, Keisha, what's going on? You better get in here. I was told that you are supposed to use your, you know, your tablets, <laughs> your little cascade tablets or dishwasher tablets, you know, jet dry, whatever. So. 
I was like, okay, cool. But there was a time they didn't tell me what not to use. So they told me what to use, but they didn't tell me what not to use. So, <laughs> so I didn't know. Okay. I just wanted some clean dishes. Okay. I'm 16 years old. Didn't feel like washing them. And I'm like, I just want some clean dishes, y'all. Hey, member for 15 months. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Keisha, for being a member for 15 months. That's a true, true blessing. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. If you don't have Keisha's comedy sets, what are y'all waiting for? Y'all better grab this young lady up. She is killing the game on all social media. Yes, making us laugh and also just being encouraging. I love everything about her. So y'all make sure y'all check her out. So you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Don't take my word for it. Get your own, get your own uh, time with her for yourself as well. So yeah, I'm in there ready to get the kitchen clean. So I decided to throw a little dawn in the dishwasher. Did not know anything about it. Now, if you don't know what Dawn is, Dawn is one of the leading brand named dish detergents. Now I've been using Dawn since Dawn been using me because I love Dawn. I've tried several others. I have, but nothing has ever done me like Dawn has done me. So again, I'm just going to be honest. I, I just, I, I have tried so many, but Dawn, you're number one. Okay. But anyways, oh, hey, bro. I love you, bro. Look, my brother's in the building. Hello. I appreciate you. My brother's here, guys. We got Keisha's comedy set. She's in the building making it rain. What, what, what? I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Thank you, God, for what you're doing. Oh, my goodness, man. I'm so happy. Y'all, come on in the building. I'm feeling good. Y'all grab up my member who's over here making it rain. Uh, my brother's in the building. How you doing, bro? I love you. Oh, it feels good to see everybody here. Come on in the building. So, yeah, y'all. I put the Dawn in the dishwashing machine. And I, the dishwasher. All I know is suds were everywhere. Okay? They're coming out of the machine. They're all over the floor. I just grabbed a towel, like, trying to sop them up. Sop. Y'all, I'm trying to sop up the suds <laughs> off the floor. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm a sucker for this. I, I I have to get this right. Like, oh, it didn't work. Okay. That's not the, the reason why it didn't work wasn't because I wasn't supposed to use the Dawn. The reason why it didn't work was because I put too much Dawn in it. So, again, I went back to my pods or my cascade caplets, whatever you want to call them. And then after that, I ran out again. So guess what I did? I put some Dawn in it. I said, you know what? Maybe I put too much in it the first time. Let me just put a, a little bit less. Okay. Just a spoonful of Dawn helps the dishes get clean. So I said, let me just try a little bit. Same thing happened again. It just doesn't work. So never, don't, don't even try it. Unless they make some new ones out. They may make some new ones that will say, hey, you know what? Well, you can use whatever you want in these things. It's high technology. I really feel like they should, but it's okay. If they don't, I don't know if it could ever work. Also, Cammy says, I love you too, Keisha. Cammy says, yesterday I had the opportunity to get a video of Kitty Cat. Oh, of a <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let me just. I'm so because when I read, I make myself laugh, guys. I'm sorry. I know that was funny, but it just shows where my mind's at. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's read that again. Take two. All right. Let's do this again. All right. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to get a video of a kitty cat to send. Okay, one more time. <clears throat> okay. Yesterday, I had the opportunity. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm I'm so silly. Like I just love being happy. And sleep for no, no reason. Some people are probably going to be like, what is it you laughing about? It doesn't really matter. It's just because I just, life is good, right? Let's just read this and let's just read it with a straight face. <clears throat> Yesterday, I had the opportunity to get a video of a kitty cat to send to my sister to show Queen Emma for the land of silly butts. 
since her favorite animal is kitty cat. That is awesome, Cammy. Again, thank you for sharing that. Um, I'm glad you got a video. Um, and he said that what was the kitty doing? Um, nothing. Okay, you didn't say. Okay, again, uh, thank you for sharing. <clears throat> uh, yes, thank you for that. Thank you, Ki thank you, Cammy. I want to say thank you, Kitty. Thank you, Cammy. Um, let's see. Keisha says, "Just got home from two procedures. Please continue to lift me up." What? Oh my goodness! I'm glad you're home. And yes, I'll continue to lift you up. Oh my goodness! How are you feeling? Are you just resting a bit? Um, <laughs> Daphne's in the building. Hey, Daphne, how are you? You better get in here. Oh, it feels so good to see the family here. I love y'all. Oh my goodness. The, hum the Humane Society has a commercial dishwasher and commercial dishwashers are extremely sensitive and very back talkative. Mm, okay. There's a commercial dishwasher. That is you. <laughs> okay, so everybody's laughing with me. Okay, thank you guys. I'm sorry. I'm, try I'm trying to hold that thing in. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't even know. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I love being silly. So it just felt good just to get a little laughing. You know, sometimes we just, we just can't help ourselves. But, anyways, yes. I think I've always been like that ever since I was a kid. We could just be in class when I was a kid just laughing for no reason. The silliest words or phrases would just make us laugh. So I love that. But yeah. Hey, April, get in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. April's in that building. What you got going on, April? What y'all nibbling on over there? I know somebody's got some breakfast. Oh, I can smell bacon in the air. I don't know who's making it, <laughs> but I can smell it. And also, we got cousin Angie in the building and loving every stitch by Ruby, baby. You better get in here, cousin. Happy Friday to you, too. You said, okay, Daphne said, I'm doing all right. I just got home from the cardiologist. Cardiologist. Now it's time to go. Oh, everything good from the cardiologist? I pray everything is well. And I'm glad that you're home with your crocheting on. What's your work? I know y'all got those hooks. I know y'all got those hooks making some whips over there, whipping up some goodies or finishing up some goodies. What's going on? Let me know. I feel like it's getting to that time now where we can go outside and crochet. You know, I can't wait till I get older. Not necessarily older. I could be older, yeah. But um, not necessarily older, but just older. You know, like a couple of years. I need a porch swing. I'm looking across the street on the porch. They got the large porch. I always want it. You know, I'm going to have. But they got the little swing. And I just always have loved the porch swing. I had a friend when I was young named Kelly. And he had a porch, you know, him and they, I had a couple of friends from school that lived in my area. So I would, you know, venture off when I was a youth and I would just ride my bike through my neighborhood and I'll find out where some of my friends lived. And him and one of my other friends, they both lived next door to each other. And I would go over Kelly's house. Kelly had a swing. And I would just, I mean, there was times he wasn't even home. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Was I the baby kid? Possibly. He wasn't home sometimes. And I would just be on his porch swinging. I'm just gonna be real. Kelly, I'm sorry. I did not break your swing though. And then I don't remember it ever being broken. So, but I definitely got me some swings. In. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Definitely love that little, that little. You better swing with it. Just sit on that. Oh, uh, mm. so I gotta have a porch swing. I definitely have to have one when I get older. Yes, Lord, I'm glad I caught you. But I'm about to look at the back. You better look at. You better look at them eyelids and rest. Because some procedures you gotta rest after them. I know we want to get up and do some backflips after. You know, but again, the rest is what is really going to be the big help in all of it. So, yes, get your rest in, okay? Thank you, sis, for the blessing and the super chatting. Y'all can definitely follow her lead if you feel the need. Oh, you can follow her lead if you feel the need. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to sis Keisha again. If y'all don't have her, grab her up. She is our sponsor of today, and she has made it rain. She's also been my member for over 15 months, guys. So, y'all do not doubt, do not pout, huh? but y'all want to make me shout. Make it rain in the chat. Shout out to Keisha for the super chat. I appreciate you again. Let's go, guys. Let's read the rest of these comments. We also have some more family in the building. And Cammy is letting us know a fellow volunteer bought the cat into a room that future doctors can use to know, to get to know the cats. So I follow her into the room to visit the cat. Oh, okay. So it was like a adoption ordeal. So it was kind of like the setup for the adopting. Okay. So you were there just to support and you know, see how everything went. That's awesome. That's what I'm talking about. April says she ain't doing much. Just a little cleaning. I love it. A little spring cleaning. And I mean, I guess it's really good to start your day off with it. That way the rest of your day, you can just relax. You know, I do like that. I do agree. But they're not have these moments like three or four in the morning. I wake up doing that. You know, I was like, I can't sleep. Wake up three or four in the morning, start washing dishes, wiping stuff down. 
I have no idea what, where that happened. And then I, I really struggle to sleep. I stay up to like five, then six. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to sleep now. You're not going to sleep at seven and wake up oversleep. I, I don't know what happened. My mom was in that building. My mom was like, good morning. Love the smile. <laughs> my, this is for you. My mom loves my do this. Shout out to my mom who loves my smile. I love your smile too, much. I love your smile. That's telling my age. Shout out to Shanice. Um, again, that was definitely one of my favorite songs. I love your smile. Okay, anyways, definitely love it. Also, let's see. My mom is in the bunch. She's saying happy. happy uh, she's saying good morning to everyone, and I hope all is well with you. I'm loving. Look at everybody greeting and meeting. Everybody greeting me. Mary's in the building. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Mary's in the building. We also got Daphne who says, just a follow up from the ER a few weeks ago when I had severe chest pain. I think it was just stress related. I'll go back soon for stress. Okay. All right. Well, I definitely keep you lifted up. I'm sorry about that. I understand what stress can do uh, again. So I will be lifting you up and encouraging you in this time and also encouraging you. I'm going to be doing some things on my vlog channel, guys, where we'll be getting a little active. We'll be getting active. Uh, and we know we do love our craft. We do love our art um, and things of that sort. But when you get up, it can help to release these happy hormones. We need to do more endorphin uh, feel things that are also a little bit more on the activity side, just so that way we can sweat some of the stress away. I'm going to be honest, okay? On top of the prayer, on top of the fasting, on top of the art and crafting, and some of our favorite hobby, on top of the detoxing, uh, not only detoxing from foods, drinks, and or other things, but also environmental shifting that needs to take place as well. So again, I'll be lifting you up and encouraging you in this time, okay? So I'm glad you are doing well now, and I'm glad you're home getting your craft on. Feels good to hear. Also, Cammy is saying, hey, Mary. Also, Daphne saying thanks, Keisha. Also, Elizabeth is in the building. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you doing? Elizabeth Aaron Crochet is in the building. You better get in here. How you doing? Also, we have Cammy says, I want a black rocking chair from the Cracker Barrel. Mm, okay. I, I never, I've been to the Cracker Barrel maybe like twice and I never noticed their rocking chairs, but I, I always wanted a rocking chair too, though. I, I like that little rocking motion, but the swing, I will take a swing over the rocking chair because I've actually got to rock a bit in a rocking chair and it wasn't really all cracked up for me. You know, like it was cool, but. I mean, it was cool. <laughs> no, no, let, me, let, me, let me try to jog my memory. Okay, okay. Kick my feet up. Oh, oh. It, it was cool. It was good. But still, the swing is more for me. I need that swing because I can be outside. I feel like I want to be on the porch, the wind flowing, the air blowing, me never knowing if the swing is going to break underneath me. But I just want to feel that. So. Definitely. Shout out to Cammy for one a rocking chair. Also for me for one to swing on the porch. Also, everybody showing some love to each other. Shout out to everybody meeting and greeting. If my doctor ordered a stress test, I most likely certainly would fall, fail it because I don't know why. What? You would fail the stress test? Don't say that. Say it ain't so, Cammy. Say it ain't so, Cammy. Say it ain't so. But yeah, don't fail the stress test because can you post the link to the other channel? I couldn't find it. Yes, ma'am, I can find, I will post it. Let me see. Thank you for even saying that, cousin. Cousin, cousin Pete. You can call me cousin Pete. I'm cousin lucky. <laughs> you sure is lucky. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, y'all, let me find this other channel of mine. Mm -mm -mm. Anybody watching any good TV shows, any good movies? What's going on? Y'all checking out that documentary on Nickelodeon? I mean, I saw like one episode, guys. I'm going to be honest. I didn't really go through all. I don't even know if I'm going through the whole episode yet. There's a lot of stuff going on, guys. A lot of, what do, what do you want to call them? Whistleblowers? Would that be a whistleblower? Well, a whistleblower in place in the season nowadays. Also, a lot of truth being told. Also, a lot of freedom being, let freedom ring. A lot of freedom being wrong. wrong? So also TV shows, we were talking at my job about comedies. They're like, what happens to the good comedies? I don't remember the good comedy. I haven't really been in the movies in a while, but I definitely love a good romance comedy or it's a comedy in general. I mean, I've seen some stand-up out, but I don't know about like any comedy films. What happened to those girl days? This all stemmed from a conversation of us talking about one of my <laughs> managers looking like one of the actors. Uh, maybe you may know him from other movies. One movie he played in was Alvin and the Chipmunks. 
He played a villain who was trying to steal the chipmunks over and over again. Uh, he also played in what I remember him from, a movie called Scary Movie 2. Uh, he was the open door opener. He opened the door. He was in a wheelchair, uh, things of that sort. That stemmed into the next conversation of us uh, speaking of the movie, uh, Scary Movie 2, where there was a chef who had a hand that was not the most attractive, where he actually used this particular smaller hand uh, for whipping potato, as well as dressing turkey. Um, and other things. Again, there's a lot of things he did with this particular hand in that movie. It caused us to laugh the night away at work last night. All right, here is do 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 do. Hey, who is this? Hey, TZ. Oh, hey. I feel like this is my nep one of my nephews. I want to say I don't want to say niece, but I could say niece as well. But hello, my niece or nephew. St. One hundred dollars sending. Okay. All right. I love the name as well. Also. This is my vlog channel. This is my vlog channel, guys, for any of you you want to do. I don't really have a lot on it. Not yet, but it's going to be. My vlog as well as channel. Do, do, do. Also, everybody's showing some love. So Christy's in a bit. And Christy, you better get in here. Hey, Christy. Hey, Christy. Where's Jesse at? Hey, Jesse. Y'all better get in here. Hit the thumbs up, yo. It's a time of dark things coming to the light. Amen. Come on. Speak well. Speak well. I think, you know, I feel like because, you know, sometimes when things, when, when, when you go through so many different things for so long, sometimes people, like, people, people will, you get blamed a lot um, when, when you tell somebody certain things and you tell people your story and they'll say, well, why didn't you tell anybody this? Why didn't you tell someone or why didn't you do this? Or why did you put up with this for so long? There's a lot of blaming that takes place. And, and sometimes people really actually have told people. And sometimes people are just are like, you know, I watch these films. And they're like, well, I didn't want to say anything because I just wanted them to be, you know, a lot of people have that mindset. I didn't want to say anything because I just wanted them to be able to continue with their career or continue to have this. Or I just didn't want to be the one that was over going overboard. I thought this is how it normally is. It was it's so many things and thoughts that a lot of things didn't take place. But then also. Um, people don't realize they'll have that support. They're so scared to tell or to say or whatever. They just deal with it over and over again because like, man, I don't, what, am I, what, do, what else do I have to do? Where else can I go? If I try to break free, if I try to speak my silence or break my silence, like, will I have support? Like, will people just bow me, bash me? Will they believe what they hear and not come to me? It happens every day, all day. And so, so many people get Frustrated. Some people take themselves out because they can't deal with it internally. And they are so afraid that afraid of the consequences of what can happen. So they just don't say anything, you know? So I definitely send my empathy for those who ever go through anything and are so afraid, so afraid just to share or step their foot out there and see if the water's fine. And and, you know, and then you put your foot out there. You're like, hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. I can't even swim, but this water feels delicious. That was me. Can't swim. Not yet. But that water's lovely. <laughs> That's telling, that water's lovely. Also, we got my nephews in the building. They're in here having a good time, hitting the thumbs. Oh, yeah, give me a thumbs up. Whatever I do, I need all the thumbs. Thank you, my nephews. Um, they're in the building. And also, thank you so much for everybody who's hitting the thumbs up and my cousin who's letting everybody know to do the same. Thank y'all so, so much. Y'all, we're working on this, this amazing poncho style top, guys, and we're doing panels. So it comes in two panels. That is why I'm loving this pattern because it's something that you make two panels, put those babies together, and what do you get? Poncho style top. Now, guys, we start off with a V stitch shell. Look at that V stitch. Now, you tell me if you don't like a V stitch, you better try it. If you never tried it, this is your time now. Now, this is a very universal stitch. Now, this stitch can be used for blankets. It can be used for throws, wraps, shawls. The list goes on and on. Beanies, cowls, fingerless gloves. I've done it all with this amazing V stitch. Now let's get a closer gander at this stitch. Again, it's just really including your basic double crochet. You're going to do two of those, chain one or two, whatever your liking is. 
I've seen even some people do three. So this particular pattern called for one chain. So you do two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets all in one stitch. And then we were skipping, then we skipped three stitches for this first row. We would skip three chains and then do the same in the next all the way down. And then we begin our rows. Now we did about 16 rows of this, okay? And after that, we did a solid row of single crochet because we wanted to just even out our stitch, okay? We wanted to even out this row. Now this row, uh, of single crochet, we actually just worked in all of the stitches and the chain one, right? Sometimes some stitches will call for, some patterns will call for you to skip the chain one and just work in the double crochets only, but we actually worked here in the, in the double crochets as well as that chain one. And we just went all the way across. It made a really nice difference of separation. It gave us a line of demarcation where we were able to see the switch up. So you'll see, this is going to be the body that will lay across the front and the back. Now this is going to lay across that shoulder and the arm giving us a bit of a sleeve, this next form here. So we ended up doing some, uh, a bit of a, I want to call it like a, oh, an eyelet round. I would call this an eyelet round. And when I say eyelet round, uh, this is kind of like when you're working on certain things at waistline and things of that sort where you may weave ribbon around it if you're doing maybe a baby dress or maybe something for the waist like a skirt or even a dress when you're separating the top bodice from the the, the skirt part. You would weave in a nice, delicious bit of ribbonry here. Now this actually could be done for this top. It was not done, but see this open eyelet round will give us room for a bit of ribbon. Again, this part is going to be laying across the shoulder and this is going to lay across and give us a nice sleeve. We're also going to be seaming up after we get done for the side of the body too. And we're going to then after add another panel. So this is just one panel guys, okay? We're gonna make another panel just like so, all right, on the other side. Now this goes up to three X, but it's very, very customizable. So again, if you need it smaller, larger, um, you can choose whatever you want, just going off of measurements and also just putting it on and giving some trial and error. Never let a pattern discourage you or make you feel like you can't do it or even your yarn size or whatever you have. Do not let it get dis do not let it discourage you. Let craft your, your creative senses just flow, your creative juices flow. That will encourage you to just have fun with it, you know, and that's when you're like, OK, you know, oh, it's not working out for me. Just put it on and see what you can do. If you have to, you know, seam it up in a different spot, if you have to work on it a little bit, put it on your body and let your body be the guide. Everybody's body's different, you know? So that's one thing I had to learn too. Like my body's not going to be the same as yours. Yours is not going to be the same as mine. So I may wear a different size. You may wear a different size and I may have to seam it up a little longer or shorter or whatever else. So with this, we're going to make another panel and we're going to lay it aside here. And when we do so, we're going to seam it up so, so far. That's where the neckline is going to come in. So some part of here will be all seamed up and then we'll leave some opening here for our head and neck to go through. Again, if you want more longer V-neck, you can do that. Now, if you want it more seamed up, you can do that too. It just really goes of how you feel, you know, what you'll wear underneath it. A lot of us will probably be wearing some type of a tank or um, a tank or camisole <laughs> underneath. So it's okay. So I think it's going to be really, really nice. I'm loving the way it looks. Again, I'm going to... I know on this pattern, it did say, give us about 13 rows of this, or I believe 13 total rows. So I think this is one, two, three, four, five, eight. So about five more rows. I'll, I'll give it a gander and check again, because this young lady used a yarn that was different from what I'm using. So I never want, and, and it's a little smaller of a, a yarn. So my yarn is a little thicker than what she used. So I don't want to make it so oversized to the point where it's not, flattering okay we want to remember to make sure our craft looks flattering oh excuse me and that's why i said try things on because when you say oh i did what the pattern said and then you put it on and you don't like it i understand it's just like when you follow a recipe and you're like oh i did everything the recipe said and you taste it and it's like salty or it's bland you still have to doctor that thing to your liking so always try your patterns on when you're working on certain things before you fully finish it and tie it off and all that no Put that baby on, try it on, and see what you can do. And write you some notes. Grab that notebook and say, okay, well, I use Katie Tavern's pattern, number 65. And what I found for me, you know, even if you got your pictures or whatever you're posting or however, what I found for me, row 15, I cut out rows 15 through 18. I didn't need them. They did, I didn't need them. 
you know, and then just in case somebody wants to order something and they may have a similar body figure of you or, or if they don't, you may measure them and you can see or however you want to do it. You'll remember what your note said. Oh, I didn't do this because they were like, oh, yours is mine. Don't feel like yours. Ha 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 ha. It's false advertisement. They, you know, some people get a little, you know, a little bossy. So you're like, oh, hold on. Let me look at my notes. I forgot I took out these. So just little things like that I've learned over the years. But again, just don't let garments discourage you. And I always will admit ponchos were my, my are my favorite. They're just super easy. A lot of times you just do one, one going around and around and around. <laughs> and then you're done. Something like this, you just got two strips, sew those babies together, and you're good. So it's just really up to you how you want to do this. Very, very easy stuff that you can choose. And a lot of times when you once you get one down, you can pick your favorite stitch out of a stitch book and then just measure this. So like, oh, okay, this was the same measurement. And then you just make your own. You can be like, oh, okay, well, I really didn't like that stitch that much. It's cool, but I want something different. But you have the measurements. You go and start with the same chain if you want, the same hook size, same yarn size, and just get to working and whipping. And next thing you know, you have a new you know, something new that you can work on. Okay. Let me see what everybody's in the building. Mary's in the building. Mary, don't you weep. You better get in here. We got Sis DOY, Jeanette, AKA Sis Soraya is in the building. You better get in here. How you doing? How you doing, Mary? You better get in here. Mary's in the building. You know, she had a birthday ever since she, ever since she got, ever since she had her birthday, she's been riding on her bike. She don't mess with us no more. She be on her bike now. <laughs> Big bike energy, Mary. You better ride out, Mary. I love it. Good morning, y'all. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're feeling great today. Just doing a little yapping like I always do. We got the Griffin family in the building. Griffin family. Y'all better get in here. Oh, my goodness. It feels good. We got Christy in the building. I have Christy show her some love representing that Midwest. Oh, the best. Hey, we got to show some love, guys. We got the Midwest in the building, y'all. I got to show love. I was born in the Midwest. Now, again, I'm not knocking my family down south. I'm not knocking my west coast. I'm not knocking my east coast or my up north. But I'm just going to show some love to that Midwest. Hey, when it comes to who do it best, I heard it was the Midwest. Again, I can't say. I can't say. I might. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not biased at all. No. Also, Cammy says the two different yellows and white were going to be a bag for my cousin and his gorgeous wife. What? Mm, for the daughter. But I decided against it because they already gave them a bag. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you so much for the Griffin family. I don't have a Griffin family. And they are killing the game. I love the family dynamic. I love the family fun. I love the vloggery or the live streaming. I love what they bring to all social media. It's just a beautiful blessing. Uh, get with them or actually get lost. I just want to tell you that. <laughs> no, seriously, this is just beautiful just to watch their journeys and the things that they do together. It's beautiful. Thank you all for being in the building. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Also, I want to learn to crochet pondo because I like, like, every time. yes, that's what I'm saying. And, the, and that's why I really got into them because it's like a setting and forget. You know how you make a nice, delicious meal in the crock pot and you're like, man, it's not, it never can go wrong with a crock pot meal. I, I don't even know. I've never, I don't know. You know, you got enough liquid, you got enough meats, whatever your veggie. And that baby always comes out right. I mean, even if you do have to add some extra seasoning, it doesn't really matter because it's tender. You know, the juices are flowing, the flavor profiles there. With a poncho, it's like you throw that camisole on or cami or a tank. Throw that baby on, throw that poncho on, and you're good to go. A nice jean, a slack, a, a wedge, a sandal, a, a boot, depending on the season, and a little, a little hat, a fedora, a little bangle on the wrist, a little dangle on the neck, a little earring, and you are good to go. And people are like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is, where did you get? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, where did you get that? Heads are turning, necks are burning. I mean, people are yearning for what you're wearing. I'm telling you. And again, it's so easy. And you just have to give yourself a chance to try it, especially if you just want to even watch a video, a tutorial on a poncho, and then go from there. You know, there's different styles. Again, there's the one setters where you're just doing one, you know, one in the round, but then there's panels types where you're actually making two panels and putting them together. I know B-O-D-A-K Bag O'Day, she has lots of poncho patterns as well. If you really want to have that up close and personal, you know, what is it called? The visual learning aspect, I would say definitely do so because I would, it's a season now, we just need to step out and just try a new 
type of craft, a, a different type of craft or a different type of project, an experiment, even if you make it for a grandbaby, a baby version, you know, start off with the baby version. That way you're like, okay, cool. You don't have to wait too long for it to be done. Cause like me, I like quick projects. You know, when something's taking too long to get done, I want to throw it in a corner and I want to run. So if you make it in a small version then you're like, Hmm, okay, maybe I'll make it for my, myself now, you know? So yeah, give it a try. I would never steer you wrong. I would just try it. All right. Yes, yes, yes. With a tank on you. I love the tank tops and the, the goodies. But yes, that's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. So I want to say I will talk to you guys Monday, unless you head over to my vlog channel or to my Instagram, and then you'll see what I'm doing. Yesterday, I showed a little bit of some dodgeball. We played some dodgeball yesterday with the kids. They kept taking me out, but it's okay. Uh, it was fun. But today I'm going to work as well. I'll be putting some stuff right on my Instagram or my community tab. JC and I will be with me tonight and it's going to be fun. So uh, we'll probably see, I'll probably post some stuff on my community tab or my Instagram or something, but also be looking out on my vlog channel because I'm getting a little more comfortable sharing some live streams and some videos. So you'll see that. Also, if you missed out on my intro to my book yesterday, please go back and watch yesterday's live stream where I read my preface and my intro um, because my book is coming out soon and that's finally time to get it done. All right. I love you guys and y'all have a sweet, amazing day. Okay. Have a great weekend. Y'all be safe and take it easy. Till next time. Thank y'all for joining me. For what? Craft Hour with Triple C. Take care. I love you all.